Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Alan's Cloud. My name is Alan Samsel and in today's video we're going to talk about Chasm Technologies once again. We're not going to talk about the installations like I've done in the past two videos but their latest release is a Chrome browser extension and uh, we're actually going to cover that, the installation and what that brings to your use of Chasm. So if that's interesting stick around. Well, let's get right to it and start talking about Chasm. So here we are. We covered the installation of Chasm. It's uh, super easy in the last two videos that I've done. Uh, I recommend a virtual machine uh, on a solid state drive, and uh, that's what they recommend as well. Um, so we're not going to cover the installation. Again, if you need to check out those videos, uh, go ahead. Today we're going to talk about the latest release from Chasm Technologies, which is a browser extension for Chrome which normally I run Firefox, so hopefully they're going to come out with an extension for Firefox. But for now, uh, Chrome, here we have it. Uh, this is their main website, so if you don't know what Chasm is, again, you can check them out. It's uh, super easy to install, but you basically have these uh, secure uh, applications or desktops that pop up uh, as quick as spinning up a Docker container, because that's what's going on under the hood. Um, so in using this, um, you know they've made it easier by adding this uh, Chrome extension so here you go to the Chrome web store and you can type in chasm and find it and here you know it says remove because I've already uh, actually installed it but um, you know essentially what it's going to do for you uh, right here when you right click on a link it's going to give you this open link in chasm uh, option so this is actually where you put in your Chasm URL for when you've done your installation and you can get to it in a local browser. This is where you plug that in. And uh, here are the settings. Now I have it set up. Now you have it on. Um, I also allowed it to have access to incognito mode because I think that's really handy as well. And then here under extension options is where you get that pop up. And I've uh, put in my local uh, address here for Chasm installation. So here under Google, uh, let's try Kali Linux. And here, uh, now that we have it up, we can actually, um, if we want to take a look at, you know, the download page inside of our Chasm for uh, Kali Linux, we're going to right click. And as you can see, I now have an option for open link in Chasm. So I'm going to click on that going to open up another browser uh, a, a tab. If you've already logged into Chasm for the day, it will actually just auto launch it. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to log into our admin account. Hit OK. Uh, and what you have to do in order to uh, initiate this is under your profile, whichever one that you use, you're going to select a default Chasm image. All right. And so now that we are already logged in, let's let's kill this browser page and do that one more time. I'm going to click, right click, download, open link in Chasm. And as you can see, Chasm actually just fully launched itself and is uh, going to the page that we wanted. Um, one thing to keep in mind, uh, I actually have um, in Chrome, I have this set up normally to uh, uh, to have 150% zoom. So if uh, you have that, your uh, extension here using Chasm is going to be affected by that zoom factor, and it will look a little bit um, uh, not as nice. So uh, bring this back down to 100%, and uh, uh, Chasm looks perfect. But here, you know, you can see this is my regular browser up here, which is Chrome, uh, and then here you have the Chasm instance. Uh, click on the little ellipse over here on the side. You can see that this is uh, a popped up instance of Chasm. So um, one of the things that uh, I'll show you here, just unique to my particular instance, this version is actually running inside of my VPN tunnel, which you can see I'm popping up here in Canada. But um, uh, another interesting thing is if you want to, uh, you know, keep, searching the web in your regular browser and go to a, a different link. You can actually right click on, on this one here, uh, click open in Chasm again. Now it does open another uh, browser page uh, tab, but 
they're the same thing. And you can see that uh, now I have Google and I have uh, Kali Linux here. Uh, I can leave this one under this one. And you can see that the page that I clicked on is open as well, along with the original tab that I have. So each time that you click on it, if you have a running Chasm instance uh, for this particular user and you're logged in, it's going to open another tab inside of the application browser. So that's pretty much it as far as uh, installing the Chrome extension for Chasm. Um, you know, it's simply a right click after that and um, you're up and running inside of uh, a Chasm. So I think that's a really handy feature that they've come out with. Again, I hope they come out with uh, the, the same extension for more browsers. And since I happen to be a Firefox user, um, if you use uh, Chasm on a daily basis uh, or want to start doing it, I think this uh, browser extension is a great addition from their team. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me here. And I'm going to be coming out with uh, several more on different topics here in uh, the next coming weeks. So. Uh, Please uh, like and subscribe. Thanks.